how good do these look? They're literally covered in cheese. Yes, this is what I came here for. This is what I wanted. I can't even begin to explain how many people have asked me to film this video, but today we're going to be making American versus British pizza. This has been one of the most requested videos on my channel and not only we're going to be comparing pizza But we're also going to be comparing sides and desserts and loads of other things that I think you guys might love I traveled to New York last week just to make more episodes for this because I know how much you guys love this series So if you do want to support me, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and switch my notifications on It's free and it really helps me being able to make more of these episodes So thank you to everyone who's actually subscribed. So no more talking now. Let's go and eat some pizza Pizza. Similar to what I've done in the Domino's video, I thought for the first category we should actually compare the same pizza. I went to Pizza Hut in New York and I ordered a small pepperoni pizza. You'd think that in America the small pizza would be huge, but I was actually shook. This is the size of a small pizza here. I'm not sure if this is because I went to one of those Pizza Huts that is not an actual restaurant because there are none in New York, there's only like tiny Pizza Huts. I actually don't mind because this is literally the perfect size if you're hungry for like lunch and you're at school and you just want a little bit of pizza so I understand why they make it like kind of like a personal size not gonna lie it looks pretty damn delicious that's a good slice of pizza personally I love the Pizza Hut dough but this is really weird I'm not sure if you can see but this pizza has no tomato sauce like what happened here? Which is so strange because I just ordered like the normal pepperoni pizza from the menu. Do you see that tomato sauce in the edge? That's all the tomato sauce that this pizza's got. Like it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, the dough is really good. The pepperoni is crispy. If you happen to like a pizza without tomato sauce, like I recommend that you come to America for Pizza Hut. If you don't, I'm not sure if you'd be too happy with this. We're back in the UK now and I'm gonna show you the pepperoni pizza that I actually got here. This pizza is called the Pepperoni Feast and the reason why I got this in large is because it was actually cheaper than getting it in small and just felt like a waste of money to get a small one. As usual, I haven't even opened it yet, so... Oh my god. I am dead. How good does this look? The first thing I notice immediately is that the pepperoni here just looks so much nicer because it's crispier. This is honestly the perfect slice of pizza. It's not too dense and it's like crispy and like it just smells so good as well. Even though I asked for the regular base, it's very very thin. It's definitely much thinner than the one in America. My favorite thing about this pizza is that the pepperoni is so crispy, it almost tastes like those like traditional, very rustic, like Italian pizzas a little bit. And the one thing I hated in America was the lack of tomato sauce, and this one has got loads of tomato sauce. Ignoring the size and judging just for the flavor and for like the ingredients, this pizza is so superior to the one in America. So my point is gonna go to Pizza Hut UK because I actually prefer this. So I went to Pizza Hut and I said, can I have the buffalo chicken pizza? And the lady looks at me and she's like, nah, we don't do those. You have to go to an actual like big like Pizza Hut restaurant. And there are basically none in New York. I think the closest one is in New Jersey. So the lady at Pizza Hut said that this is the closest thing. Oh my God, me and my friends are actually having a good summer and I'm staying inside eating pizza and watching Netflix. Please let me join. No? Okay. I think it might be the same, maybe minus the buffalo sauce. I'm probably pronouncing buffalo wrong in this whole video and I'm really sorry. I know this is a small pizza, but I swear to you, this is loaded. It's got so much ingredients. This is so thick, it's practically a pie. This is packed with stuff. Like, honestly, it's got so much chicken. It's got loads of cheese and sauce and everything. This is actually the opposite of the first pizza that I had. This is one of the best Pizza Hut pizzas I've ever had. This was very, very good, and I think this is gonna be basically impossible for the UK to top this one. For the exclusive pizza category, for the UK, we're gonna be trying this pizza called the Farmhouse Pizza. I haven't seen it in the menu in America, and I've never tried it before, so I think it'd be fair. And this is what it looks like, and oh my god, that is a lot of ham. Is it just me or is this an insane amount of toppings? This pizza is really, really good. The one negative thing that I noticed in this pizza is that it's got very little sauce. It's kind of similar, ironically, to the first one we tried for America. The dough for Pizza Hut in the UK is very different from America. It basically looks like a pretzel and it also kind of tastes like a pretzel. It's kind of strange, not gonna lie. If you want a pizza that's loaded in toppings, this is definitely the one to go for. 
But if you want a pizza that's very cheesy and it's got a lot of tomato sauce, then maybe I'd go for a different one because the base is really, really thin and they really don't put a whole lot of sauce and a whole lot of cheese. I think I have to be honest with you guys and I think the pizza in America was slightly better. So I'm going to be giving my points to the USA. For this next catch, we're gonna be trying chicken. And this dish that I ordered is technically not like a chicken dish because this is pasta, but it's a chicken pasta Alfredo. I wanted to have this because for Pizza Hut delivery, we actually don't have pasta in the UK. That looks like pizza. Is it just me or does this actually look like pizza? This is the weirdest pasta I've ever seen. This is so thick that it doesn't even move. That's how much cheese and sauce this got, look. That's really good. I love these crusty bits on top. They actually taste really good. Some days you're just not feeling like pizza and I think those days are perfect for this. It's very, very good. It's very creamy and it tastes a lot like garlic. So if you like creamy, garlicky pasta, you're probably gonna like this. So let's see what the UK has got for chicken. For the UK, for the chicken category, I've got the hot and spicy chicken strips. And this definitely does not exist in the US. Maybe it did at some point, but not when I was there in New York. Ooh, is it just me or is that not that much? It comes with a sweet chili sauce and also a sour cream sauce that I actually don't really like too much. Some of these are like really big pieces and other ones are really small pieces. I don't understand this. It's not very spicy, even though it's called spicy chicken strips. It's kind of hot, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It doesn't have a lot of spices. This one just isn't very good. It's like weirdly soggy and tough at the same time. It kind of tastes like leftover chicken a little bit. Obviously, this is just my opinion, guys. I know if you try it and you love it, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just giving you my genuine opinion. This is a very easy decision for me. I'm gonna give the point to America because I actually prefer the pasta with the chicken. For the American sides, we're gonna start with the cheesy breadsticks. I'm pretty sure that's the name of this. Oh wait, it's actually not. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure if we've got this in the UK, but I've never tried it before. This is so big. How ridiculous is that? It only comes with three. So maybe if this were like cut down, you'd probably get like six normal regular sized ones. This tastes just like pizza crust. In order for this to be called cheesy sticks, this needs a lot more cheese and a lot more flavor. Oh wait! I actually got that wrong. Those were the breadsticks. These are the cheese sticks. Now this makes a lot more sense. For breadsticks actually, the other ones were fine. How good do these look? They're literally covered in cheese. Yes, this is what I came here for. This is what I wanted. Oh my God. That's so much better. Personally, I prefer these so much more than the normal breadsticks. These are the cheesy sticks and they're literally actually, they are covered in cheese. They're very like soft and like, they're the actual opposite of dry. If you guys have never tried these, I actually really recommend these. I love that. So this one's gonna leave a lot of American people shook because most people don't even know that this exists at Pizza Hut, but it does in the UK and it's very, very popular. And that is nachos, cheesy nachos. Look at the insane amount of cheese that's in here. It's good actually. Like I don't even like nachos usually, but this cheese, Tastes so good, it's so flavorful. Oh my god, let's do something crazy. Me eating one portion of nachos. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so spicy though. My point officially goes to the UK for this one because I love these nachos, they're very, very good. There's something different in the menu. I definitely prefer them to the breadsticks or cheesy sticks that we tried in America, just because these feel different. These taste nothing like pizza. They're just something nice, a nice addition to the menu. For dessert, I went to the Pizza Hut website and I saw they've got this thing called the Triple Hershey's Chocolate Brownie. So I went to Pizza Hut and I asked for it and they told me no. Once again, you have to go to like an actual big restaurant. There are not many in New York. Next time I make these videos, I'm gonna go to LA again because it's very difficult in New York to film this. But I did find a solution. I went and bought one of these chocolate brownies and I also bought some Hershey's chocolate. We've got the milk chocolate and cookies and cream and we're gonna be putting these together and making our own triple actually double chocolate Hershey's brownie it's not the Pizza Hut one but it's made by me so that better be good enough so I'm gonna put some of the cookies and cream on this side and then also some milk chocolate that looks so good already so what I'm gonna do now is make a little sandwich I know stay tuned this is gonna be good what you'll end up with is basically a brownie and Hershey's chocolate sandwich <gasps> oh my god she fell apart 
I'm shook. This was so good. I know what you're thinking, Rafa. This is way too much sugar and chocolate. There's no way this actually tastes good. It tastes so good. And honestly, if you don't believe me, get yourself a chocolate cake or chocolate brownie and eat it with a Hershey's chocolate. This is by far the best thing I've ever created in one of these videos. This is basically a metaphor for my life now. For the UK for dessert, I decided to go with this thing called the white chocolate and caramel cookie dough or cookie biscuit, something like that. I can't remember the exact name. It actually comes like unassembled, so they actually sent the ice cream on the side. You can't really see it, but it's a standard vanilla ice cream, nothing special about it. It's good. It's okay. This is the cookie dough or cookie. I don't know if it's dough or just an actual cookie, but we're gonna open it and find out together. Does it look good? Why does it look like that? I think this is burned. It tastes like they left it in the oven for too long. Maybe with the ice cream it's the way that it's supposed to be eaten and maybe it's gonna taste so much better so we're gonna put the ice cream on top. This kind of makes it look a little bit better. It's so crunchy that with the spoon I actually can cut into it. It doesn't taste like anything good. It tastes like burn the cookie. The ice cream is pretty good, I'll give them that. But I just expected something else from like seeing the picture from reading the name, this is the most unexpected thing in this video, but I think the winner for this one is actually gonna be our DIY Hershey's Chocolate Pizza Hut inspired brownie from America because it tasted better than this. So according to my calculations, the winner for this video is the USA. So congratulations to America. I actually prefer the American products that I had from Pizza Hut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been so much work to put together. So if you do like these videos, don't forget to give it a like. And I hate that I have to be this annoying every single time. But if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, it really does help me out making more of these videos and it just means the world to me. So thank you to everybody who subscribes and switch my notifications on. You guys are the real MVPs. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.